everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm showing how to make a quick and easy Father's Day present. I'm adding heat transfer vinyl to an apron to make it into a grilling apron. Let me know if you're making anything for Father's Day. I would love to hear. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you be a part of my channel. I'm going to go over to my uploads and upload my image. So I'll go to browse and I'll find my image on here. This is another Patreon image that I know you have heard me talk about a lot on my channel. I'm going to click on this and insert it into Design Space. You can find out how to get these hand-drawn images in the description box. You can see that there's a lot of layers to this piece. They are all grouped together right now so I can move it all together. And there's nothing that I want to change with this image. I just want to size it. I measured out my apron and it looked like 9 inches for the width would be a good size. So I'm going to go up here and select 9 inches inches and it makes it about almost nine inches for the height and that seemed like that would be good. The next thing that I need to do is attach this so that it'll show up like this otherwise it'll be all jumbled up on the mat but what I'm actually going to do is weld it. I don't usually do this but it's kind of easier just to see it as one layer but you can also attach it. Now that we have that sized and welded together, I'm going to click on make it. I also want to mention that the color on here is black. I'm actually using white vinyl, but I'm not going to change it in design space. A lot of times I like to, but since it's just one color, I'm just not going to bother with changing it. I am using heat transfer vinyl, so um, I am going to mirror it. Then I'll go down and click on continue. I'm just going to select Everyday Iron-On, even though I'm using Caesar Easyweed, and I believe there's an option on here. I tried it, and it actually did not cut through very well. So I just always choose Everyday Iron-On, and I am going to change the pressure to more because my fine point blade is getting pretty worn out, so um, the more pressure usually helps with that. I put the Caesar Easy Weed Vinyl shiny side down on my mat. I like to use my brayer tool to get all the bubbles out. Then I load it into the Cricut machine and it'll cut it out. I'm using my Maker machine, but you can use your Cricut Explore Air machine as well. When the machine's done cutting, I select the double arrow to unload it. Sometimes with rolls of vinyl, I like to just roll the vinyl up to take it off the mat. Next, I just cut around my vinyl design, then weed out the negative space of the vinyl. I want to show you my mini trash can real quick. I love this for throwing away heat transfer vinyl after I've weeded it. I'll leave a link down below if you are interested in this. I also love to just have it sitting on my counter for any of my little scraps or trash that I have. I also want to mention real quick, we are up to 90 SVG images like this one that you can have access to through my Patreon membership. We add more at the beginning of each month and you can use these for personal or commercial use. I work with someone who hand draws these and I just give her my vision of what I would like and she draws them for me. So once again, if you want to check it out, there is a link in the description box. I bought this two pack of black polyester aprons off Amazon for $7.99. I'll leave a link below for that as well. I'm making this one for my husband for Father's Day, but I might make one for my dad as well. And here's what the apron looks like all unfolded. Next, I pull up my heat guide on my phone. If you want to see how to get the shortcut like this, I'll leave my video showing how to do that below. I put in my materials I'll be using and it'll give me my time and temperature for my easy press too. Mm -hmm. 
You'll want to set the apron on either the easy press mat or a towel to press it into. I made the mistake of not using a mat one time and the vinyl just wouldn't stick well at all. I preheat my apron to get moisture and wrinkles out. I place my design on the apron and I'm just eyeballing how I want it to line up. I place my Teflon sheet over the design and apron. You can use parchment paper as well. Then I place my Easy Press 2 over one part of the design. My Easy Press is not quite big enough to cover it, so I do two different presses. I really wish I would have just gotten the biggest size for the Easy Press 2, and I'm still thinking about purchasing one. Next, I take off the carrier sheet. I like to start off doing this slowly to make sure the vinyl fully adhered, and it looks like that was a great temperature for it. And here it is, a quick and easy Father's Day present. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. It is completely free, and don't forget to check out my Patreon account in the description box below.